the day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, March 9, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. New Orleans Pelicans vs Orlando Magic The Orlando Magic invade the Smoothie King Center to take on the New Orleans Pelicans on Wednesday night. Our first pick is. New Orleans Pelicans minus 8.5 points. And here is why. New Orleans also completes a back-to-back -back on Wednesday when they host Orlando after playing on the road Tuesday against the Memphis Grizzlies. New Orleans is third in the Southwest Division 27-37 and 16 games behind the first-place Grizzlies. New Orleans was defeated by the Denver Nuggets 138-130 on Sunday in overtime. Brandon Ingram was the leading scorer for New Orleans with 38 points. New Orleans was defeated by Denver in its most recent outing, but the Pelicans were 4-0 straight up and Austrian shillings in their four previous games. New Orleans has an excellent scoring combo of CJ McCollum and Brandon Ingram that are scoring a combined average of 48.9 points per game and will be hard for the Orlando defense to contain. Orlando has failed to cover the number in five of its last six. And our second pick is. Under the total. And here is why. The New Orleans Pelicans have been in decent shape as they've split their last eight games overall, but they will be hoping to avoid a third straight defeat after getting routed by the Grizzlies in a 132-111 road loss last night. CJ McCollum led the team with 32 points and 11 assists on 13 of 21 shooting, Willie Hernan Gomez added 17 points with 9 rebounds, while Najee Marshall chipped in with 16 points. As a team, the Pelicans shot 46% from the field and 11 of 34 from the three-point line, but they just never looked threatening in this one, after falling behind by 19 points at halftime and by as many as 36 points in the third quarter. Toronto Raptors vs San Antonio Spurs The Toronto Raptors and the San Antonio Spurs duke it out at the AT&T Center on Wednesday night. Our first pick is. Toronto Raptors plus one. And here is why. The Raptors struggled with their shot in a 104-96 loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers on Sunday night. Pascal Siakam scored 24 points and Chris Boucher 21 for the Raptors, who opened a six-game road trip without all-star guard Fred VanVleet, knee soreness, or forward Aganunabi, fractured finger. The Toronto Raptors are in need of a win, and this is an ideal spot. They defeated the Spurs by a convincing 129-104 score in the first meeting and should be able to thrive against a team playing terrible defense. The Spurs have now dropped four out of their last five games and including a home loss to the Kings. Furthermore, the Raptors are playing stellar defense, even in their defeats. They have allowed 108 or fewer points in five consecutive games. San Antonio has squandered an average of 119.8 points in their last five bouts. And our second pick is. Over the total. And here is why. Dejant Murray is hot, registering at least 25 points in three consecutive bouts. The 25-year-old point guard also has three consecutive double-doubles and is sporting an average of 20.5 ppg and 9.4 apg. Keldon Johnson scored 33 points in last weekend's loss to the Hornets. The 22-year-old will attempt a ton of threes. He is averaging 15.9 ppg and is shooting 40% from beyond the arc. Jacob Polk tallied 18 points in Monday's win. The veteran center enters with an average of 13.5 ppg and 9.2 rpg. Pascal Siakam is playing well, sinking at least 24 points in three straight games. The 27-year-old power forward had trouble last season, but has been much better this year, averaging 21.5 ppg and 8.5 rpg. Fred Van Vliet has missed the last five games due to a knee injury and is not expected to play. The 28-year-old is averaging 21.4 ppg and is shooting 42% from beyond the arc. Gary Trent Jr. scored 19 points in Sunday's defeat. The 23-year-old owns an average of 17.9 ppg. Aga Nunabi is out of action. New York Knicks vs Dallas Mavericks The Dallas Mavericks play host to the New York Knicks at the American Airlines Center on Wednesday night. Our first pick is. Dallas minus 7.5 points. And here is why. This Knicks team had a horrendous month of February that bled into their first two games of March. 
Prior to their win on Sunday over the Clippers, the Knicks had lost 11 of their last 12. RJ Barrett led them with 24 points in the win Sunday that snapped a seven-game losing streak. They then faced off with the Kings the very next night and were able to grab a second win. The Knicks were in terrible form before winning their last two games, so they will be eager to come out firing in this one, but they're going to be shorthanded as Obi Toppin, Nerlens Noel and Kemba Walker are all out while Mitchell Robinson is listed as questionable. The Mavericks have quietly been one of the hottest teams in the league for a while now, and their confidence will be sky high after taking down the Jazz in their last outing. The Knicks have been better in their last two games, but not enough to stop me from taking the Mavericks in this spot. Our second pick is under the total and here is why. The Mavericks are on a four-game win streak to start the month. The Lakers, Warriors, Kings, and most recently the Jazz have been the victims during this run. The Mavs could be without Jalen Brunson who is questionable with a foot injury. They will have Spencer Dinwiddie who has been a welcome addition since he was traded for Porzingis. Dinwiddie is averaging 18.3 ppg with the Mavs which is a large bump from the 12.6 ppg he was averaging with the Wizards. The Dallas Mavericks have been in red-hot form as they've won 11 of their last 13 games overall, and they will be aiming for a sixth straight victory after outlasting the Jazz in a 111-103 home win on Monday. Luka Doncic led the team with 35 points, 16 rebounds and 7 assists, Spencer Dinwiddie added 23 points, while Dorian Finney-Smith chipped in with 21 points. As a team, the Mavericks shot 44% from the field and 17 of 46 from the three-point line as they got off to a quick start and outpaced the Jazz to lead by as many as 20 points in this one, which proved to be just enough as the Jazz rallied two within six points late in the fourth quarter. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.